are you doing? Uh, I'm doing alright. This is my first foreign language class, so... Thankfully, it's just a verbal quiz tomorrow, so it shouldn't be too hard. I'm just kind of trying to memorize the uh, simple phrases that they give, they've given us. Um, can I try them on you? Okay. And don't be shy on my pronunciation. I want to do it correctly. Bonjour. Comment allez-vous? Je vais bien, merci. <laughs> I know. Okay, the next one. Comment t'appelles-tu? Je m'appelle Amy. Enchanté. Oh, thank you. <laughs> the hard part is remembering it. Uh, without reading it. Um, and then the other phrases we needed were Excusez-moi? Où est toilette? <laughs> uh, je voudrais du café au lait, s'il vous plaît. <laughs> Just in case we go to a French bakery, of course. Or French coffee shop. How are you doing with your verb past tense sheet? <laughs> oh my gosh, <laughs> you've already completed it? <sighs> are you sure this is your first French class? <laughs> you seem really good at it. This is my notebook. I got it just for French class. Oh, yeah, I took it because I needed an elective to graduate, and I just figured, why not? <laughs> yeah, you know, maybe one day I'll travel to France, who knows? But, yeah, learning a language is definitely not easy. <laughs> well, um, since you're at a good stopping point, and I am mentally done, <laughs> uh, maybe we could eat some snacks. Okay, perfect. So, I have this snack box that I got, um, and it has like 10 different snacks in it. So, I thought it would be really cool if you could try it with me, because they are all snacks from France. <laughs> yes, I may have planned this beforehand, but I was excited, so I wanted to make it a surprise. <laughs> um, did you want any more water or anything to drink because we're gonna need it when we're trying all these snacks oh yeah I plan on trying all ten yeah they have a small box I think with like five and then five or three and then they have the box that I got which is the ten snacks and then they have like a super deluxe box that is 20 snacks I got lucky because this one was France, but every month it's a different country. And I mean, I love going to places like World Market and Central Market to try different snacks and things from different countries, but this is stuff that I can't even find there. So we're going to try them together. <laughs> ah, I'm starting to get hungry. I'm going to fill the void with snacks. Let's move. Well, this is what it is. It's from the company Universal Yums. I did. 
did open the box, but I only looked at what's on top. I am impatient. I like surprises though. Which is why I love these snack boxes. It's because it's like a present in the mail. Open it up and take a look. Oh. Why are people learned to listen to their hearts? I mean, when I think of France, I think of coffee, love, and art. <laughs> ones we think are best out of all the 10 different snacks. Oh, and it has a secret puzzle. We can do this later if you like. Uh, French or faux? So, the French bulldog is half French. The French horn is not French. French toast is also not French. And then French vanilla is actually French. <laughs> Very interesting. Awesome. There it is. All of France here. We have Bordeaux, Montignac, Montignac. Sorry, terrible pronunciations. I'll have to ask our professor how to pronounce it. <laughs> Cans, Cans, Cans. Chateauneuf sur Sarthe. I know Paris. 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 I can't, I can't do it. Tour. Coin. Oh my gosh, I am just absolutely butchering these, aren't I? We'll just have to go to France to find out. Alright. And of course, a booklet with lots of fun things about France. Hmm. We've put together a list of popular French terms of endearment. Some may surprise you. Mon amour. Mon amour means my love. Mon bijou means my jewel. Mon chaud, my cabbage. Do people really say that in France? Oh, my little cabbage. I love you so much. <laughs> Mon coco, my egg. I, oh my gosh, that's so funny. Oh, oh my gosh, and there's trivia too. <laughs> so cool. Uh, let's choose one. Let's do... Order an American sandwich in France, and you'll get a sandwich filled with A baby hot dogs, B, pulled pork, C, french fries, or D, mac and cheese. What do you think? Um, I feel like pulled pork is the only thing that sounds like normal. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's gonna keep doing that a bit. Um, baby hot dogs, I feel, hot dogs are very American. So, I'm gonna go with A, baby hot dogs. Which one do you think? <laughs> that is a good point. Let's see what the answer is. Are you serious? The answer is french fries. <laughs> so, an American sandwich in France, and you'll get french fries on it. Americans may call them french fries. But in France, they're called les frites, and considered an American specialty. So much so that they're the star ingredient in France's popular American sandwich, alongside beef, lettuce, tomato, and cheese. What's more ironic, 
fries aren't techni- technically French or Americans or American historians believe they originated in Belgium. Very interesting. Um, yeah, and then it goes into all the different snacks that we have here. I'm just gonna pick one up and then try and find it here and then we'll read about it afterward because I'm getting hungry. First thing I'm picking up is Au fromage du Jura, Pomme de Terre de France. I know what Pomme de Terre means potato. Even before I read this and it was pointing out a potato chip, I knew. I swear. Uh, recette originale et unique. I feel like it's probably talking about the ridges. Let's get the real story here. Okay, so this one is. Floral cheese flavored potato chips. Interesting. Hmm. A sweet floral cheese from Franche Comte province in eastern France. To make the cheese, every cow is treated to two full acres of pastures to roam, plus a diet of 100% national food. I actually love things that are floral. Um, like, I love floral things in my coffee and drinks and I like floral. Um, y- you know what? I just like floral. <laughs> Here, let's see if I can open this without making such a loud noise. <laughs> Interesting. At first glance, it just looks like a regular Lay's chip. like a Lay's chip, but with like, the aftertaste is just a little bit different, a little bit more fancy. I'll have to eat more just to be sure. Hmm. Oh. Very cool. One thing I have to say. I have never seen in any other snack box. At least maybe they, it has been in other snack boxes, but I haven't noticed. It says the ingredients on the bottom of every snack. So if you are allergic to anything, you would know which ones to stay away from, which I think is genius. Hmm. I should have grabbed chip clips, but whichever. clumsy. <laughs> Thankfully, there's not a lot of, like, debris that came from them. My hands still feel clean, so very cool. Let's do... Okay, this is silly. Sibel tube. <laughs> A Greek note there. So I know fromage. And I didn't, like, I know fromage before this. I didn't know it just because it has to be, you know, a cheese and a mousy. So. Alright. Let's try and find them in here. flavored tube snacks. Uh, you know, honestly, I don't think I've ever had a tube snack. <laughs> okay. In France, people don't really snack. Wow, okay. But let's be clear. 
the French still enjoy munching on chips, crisps, and crackers. They just save them for a pre-dinner course called the apertif, or I guess like appet appetizers. <laughs> I don't know why that took me so long to bring to my head. I'm just hungry, okay? The cheesy grignoter French for nibble is in your box made spe specifically for the occasion. Yes, I will be eating this before my dinner. Oh, okay, honestly, I did not expect them to look like this. They look like bugles, but, um, like long and not bugly. <laughs> Same texture as bugles, but like different flavor. Here, try some. Take more. There you go. Hmm. Pretty good. I could eat a whole bag. Overly salty? Same with the other chips, they weren't overly salty. Um, I don't like a lot of salt. I like salt, but I don't like overly salty things. I don't know. <laughs> They're good. I kind of want to eat this whole thing. <laughs> shouldn't have started snacking when I was hungry because <laughs> now I'm going to eat it all. <laughs> all right, I'm going to stop myself. Okay, one more and I'm going to stop myself. I'm going to move on to the next thing. <laughs> you feel the same way? Here. There. Now we're going to put these away. Obviously salt and vinegar chips, because, um, vinegar, um, but let's go to the correct page. Oh, here we are. Vinegar potato chips. Yeah. It, hence the name vinegar, meaning sour wine. salt and vinegar chips are something that you love or you hate and for me I think it's like the first bite I'm okay but then the second bite I'm like really into them Again, I feel like they're very similar to American salt and vinegar chips, but they're not like overwhelming. Usually the first bite, it like makes my taste buds go crazy, like bleh, but this one I can honestly just start eating it. Really good. But of course like same basic taste of other Vinegar, salt and vinegar chips. Do you feel like they taste any different? Mm-hmm. That's a good point. One more. There you go.
one thing I will say. This is more to America. It's only about half a bag. <laughs> that there I'm gonna end up knocking it over <laughs> okay now let's go to the sweet stuff I'm a huge sweet tooth so uh, I save the best for last kind of thing oh. Okay. oh my gosh truffles bar so This yum came about completely by accident when a confectioner was making a pastry cream when he accidentally poured hot cream into a bowl of chocolate instead of a bowl of sugar and eggs. Rather than bidding the melty chocolate adieu, he began experimenting and quickly realized the paste, the chocolate paste called ganache, could be bol uh, molded, so he rolled it into balls. Very interesting, so... I ruin it. Look how cute these guys are. I know I shouldn't do that, but <laughs> there's chocolate hanging in the balance. Okay. At first look, they do not look appealing. Whoa, they are so melty. It is melting in my hand as we speak. It doesn't look appealing. Mm. It definitely melts in your mouth. That is really good. Um, anytime I've ever baked with ganache, it is this exact taste, except it has a semi-sweet powder on the outside. I feel like I have it all over my face. Um, and that helps to add, you know, make it a little bit different. But, yeah. Oh, these are really good. Just one more, and then we're gonna put this on. I love chocolate and anything sweet, so... chocolate over my face because of the powder, but I know it's not. I know I don't have powder on my face. Okay. We're gonna have to wash our mouths out after this one. I think I have a cat hair on my face somewhere. I can't find it. Dog people, cat people. We all understand. Okay. That was good. Let's do... Okay. So this has a raspberry on it. A raspberry mini roll. Cake roll with raspberry filling. Oh my gosh. A cake roll. I'm into this. I'm really 
really glad that you're here eating candy with me, um, because otherwise I would feel just so lame on my own. I think we should start counting how many times I do that and, like, refuse to, like, fix it to make it better. You know. Alright, this is what it looks like. I'm gonna split it in half for you. Alright, here you go. really good. Mm. I'm trying to think if it tastes like anything that I can think of, but not really. <laughs> uh, the cake is like so soft and the filling is straight raspberry, like not fake raspberry. It tastes like a freaking raspberry. It is so good. My goodness, that was a little fun one. A little tiny little snack. I could see myself getting that in like the grocery store or like in like the gas station for a little snack for myself, you know? Okay, let's move on. Fraiso bowl. I'm gonna take a guess and say a uh, strawberry ball. And not because they're obviously strawberry balls. <laughs> so, these are chewy strawberry candies. There's a lot of information, like, on these snacks. You can read it on your own. I just figured, you know, I'd be, this would be a very long if I read all of the Thing with jigs, you know, and I know you have to be home at some point. I have chocolate on my hands, and I know you have to be home at some point because you know you have a test tomorrow. So, all right, I got it open, but not not beautifully. Is it really cool? There we go. Hmm. don't like the texture because it's like hard but chewy and it's getting stuck in my teeth but the flavor is really good like so good I want to eat more of those but at the same time Again, they're not bad. They taste really good, but gosh, I just can't stand that texture, you know? Plus, we have so many other things to try. Let's move on. So, oh, okay. So, the small one, the, like, the smaller package, is called a yum bag. This is the yum yum box. The yum bag is like three candies and that's what this is. So this is the, yeah, you know what I'm trying to say. So let's open it up because it will have three candies in there. <clears throat> so what the heck? It looks really crazy, and it's called a sour cola bar. Um, sour cola. To be honest, I'm a little scared. <laughs> There's another one in there for you. Oh no, I'm not gonna like the texture. <laughs> it's like a laffy taffy texture.
Okay. Honestly, I'm really digging <laughs> like the flavor. It's just so weird. Oh my god. It's really sour. They, it is no joke. They're like... That's no joke. I mean, I like sour candies. And that's why I like that that's like sour. But yeah, wow. It's, again, getting stuck to my teeth and not like that, but the the, the uh, uh, flavor so good <laughs> okay next salted butter caramels I don't normally do caramels on their own but salted butter sounds really good because I put butter on everything I feel like you're supposed to put the whole thing in your mouth. <laughs> Just a lot to chew. This is like one of those things that a child would choke on. <laughs> or someone that's like a child. <laughs> I feel like it's gum. I have to chew it so long. Like my jaw is hurting. <laughs> okay. That was good. Alright. And the last candy, like candy, is a part of this yum yum bag. It is called Tet Brulee. Tropical peach tea and cola flavored juice with sour feeling. Sour filling. This is the cola. Um, I want to try this one, the peach one, because I like peach. Oh my god. Oh my god. I Oh my god. That's so sour. They do not play around. Holy crap. They do not play around with those sour flavors. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> yeah. But like, it's still really good. I feel bad because I'm not eating the whole thing. And I'm like putting it down like, ugh, I can't eat that. But it's truly because I'm weird about like chewy things. But the flavor is really good. And if you like sour things, holy crap, that's really awesome. <laughs> but... For now, we'll move this yum bag over here. And the last three are things I know I'm going to be obsessed with, so. Let's do... Le Sable de la Mer Poulard. So, butter biscuits. French butter biscuits. Something I know that I'm gonna like. I mean, it's not gonna be anything special because, like, they're just butter biscuits, but who knows? They might be super special.
really good. Like, like brown, meaning it has more butter than normal, I suppose. for you. Hmm. So I thought it was going to be really dry, like a shortbread cookie, but it's like a mix between a cracker and a cookie. You know, but really good. really want to dip that in some coffee or hot chocolate. Like, it would be perfect for that. Okay. I have two left. We have sea salt crystals dark chocolate from Simwa, chocolatier francais. I just really want to enjoy this packaging. Very decadent. Oh my goodness. Have some. Try and bite off a piece that I didn't bite from. I love the saltiness in the dark chocolate. The sweet and salty flavors, like, just, I love that combination. It's one of my favorites. Okay. And the last thing we have Je Croix, France French dusted truffles almond flavor. So, I love I'm expecting to absolutely adore these. Let's see more about them. Okay. In France, there's no such thing as too many almonds. 
One peek inside a Parisian sweet shop is all the proof you need. I do love almond croissants, so yeah. Let's taste these almond flavored truffles. Enjoy this decadence together. Oh my gosh. Vanilla extract is very strong in this one. Well, you know, whatever they used to flavor it with almonds, but oh my gosh, that's one of my favorite flavors. It's just like the ganache one where it doesn't look appealing, but I'm sure it's delicious. That's really good. Very, 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 very similar to those other candies. Very good. I will have another. <laughs> Here, go ahead, take one. Listen, this will just be our cheat day. Seal it. Otherwise, I would just have had to eat them all, you know? Honestly, even if I wanted to, I don't think I could. They are very decadent. Like, so chocolatey. The kind where it's like, you can't eat more than a couple. <laughs> like those two? I'm good. <laughs> I kind of want more chips though, but I need to save some room for dinner. <laughs> I've had um, quite the appetizer, and you have too. <laughs> Hopefully I didn't ruin your dinner for you. <laughs> Are there any that you'd like to take with you? I don't mind. There's like 10 different snacks. Okay. Here, I'm just going to... things back in their place. sleepy. I'm thinking I'm gonna grab a bite to eat and then head to bed. Hopefully all the studying we did stuck in our minds and we ace the test tomorrow. At least we'll have sweet dreams. <laughs>